Welcome back to the Sacred Fame Podcast. This is Kasha Rushful, and I have a very special, intimate episode for you today. I'm going to share with you a snippet of a conversation that I had with a girlfriend who's a new friend to me. She's been a longtime colleague through the energy healing trainings that I've done. And what we've started doing is sharing voice memos back and forth. And so we have these conversations over voice messages and we dive into some really interesting topics manifestation intuition healing all of that and recently my girlfriend sent this bit of an exasperated message saying you know i'm doing all this stuff and it's not working like literally nothing's changed my intuition's not telling me stuff and you know i'm just at my wits end and and i responded back and the message was quite long it was about eight minutes and i shared with her my own struggles in feeling like I'm not making the money I want. I don't have the clarity I want. I, my business is, you know, burned down, which is really what happened this past winter. And so it's a, it's a very um, raw conversation. It's a very intimate conversation that we had over voice message. And after I sent my response to my friend, she said, Holy crap, this is a, coaching session wrapped up into about eight minutes and I want you to share this because everybody needs to hear this. I describe what embodiment is, I describe the mechanics of the manifestation process and how we know whether we are allowing our mind to trick us or how we know that we are doing just the motions of it or how we know that we are actually and fully embracing and doing the manifestation process. Like what what are we actually man? So I'm sharing this nitty gritty, raw, unfiltered, un, um, unedited piece of conversation that we had because I really did say some brilliant things, even through the messy delivery of it all. And it is worth sharing, it is worth listening to. And so I would love to know at the end what you think and how you get in your own way. Are you willing to have the spiritual sit down that I mention with yourself so that you can um, really get clear on what is truly true? So without further ado, here you go. Hey, thanks for all your messages. I actually really loved the long one. Um, (laughs) I'm like, I made notes about it. I'm gonna listen to it again at some point because everything you were saying i'm like i've struggled with that i'm struggling with that my people struggle with that so there's some really good language in there and that is exactly where i found myself like in february where i was like you know what fuck everything i'm not gonna fight for this anymore and just whatever universe like if i have to go get a job i will and the what that showed me what my own experience this year has showed me is something that I've known right because I obviously I study manifestation as well and it showed me in a very embodied way like how we know the difference between doing the work like the mechanics of it but not the embodiment of it and so like I love everything you said and I would like so take this with a grain of salt and if you want to do this you can you don't have to this is just me like throwing something out there um to you know if if you're ready to look at this great if not totally throw it out um and be like don't tell me what to do (laughs) so i would challenge you to look at the when you say like I'm doing all this stuff and literally nothing has changed is that a hundred percent true like truly true or is it just a story that your mind is telling you because um, like I don't I haven't known you that well for super long and I would say like I would love to get to know you more so I still don't really know you super well but like we have worked together a little bit more and you know we've hung out a bit more and chatted and stuff and I feel like um you're more bold like you're showing up differently you're 
unapologetically yourself. You're, you're not someone who I see as someone who's hiding. You're someone who is willing to do whatever it takes. And so, yes, you are doing the work. And I'm wondering if the like, quote unquote, block is not that you're not doing enough, but you're expecting it not to work, right? So it's like more of an internal shift in being and maybe sitting down and doing like a just sort of black on white inventory of, you know what, I'm going to call bullshit on the the story that my mind's telling me that nothing's working. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to like have a come to, I don't know what you, they're called, like what come to Jesus moment, moments. My other girlfriend calls it a spiritual sit down and just like a face the music moment with yourself and be like, okay, like what actually has worked? What is my evidence that it has worked? And the tricky part here is it's always going to be internal first. Right? Like, yeah, your million dollars maybe hasn't shown up or maybe like even your regular paycheck months have not shown up. But what is the internal change that you have manifested? Because it always goes there first, right? That is always where the manifestation comes. And if you're finding that like you have changed in subtle ways, maybe you're more confident, maybe like you're willing to dive into some of this stuff, um, even in spite of the resistance that your partner has to, to some of this stuff, right? Like you're willing to stand up for what you believe in no matter what, and still do whatever it takes, that's change. And if your mind is not allowing you to make that be enough, right? That's where the work is. There's no more blocks. It's literally deciding, you know what? yeah, I'm going to go get a job if that feels right and that's what I need to do, that's fine. But I'm not going to write off everything that I've done and everything I've become because it actually has been working. I've just been expecting it not to. Therefore, I have been blocking my own success. And really just like getting down into the nitty gritty of what your mind tells you, what the stories are that you make up in your head. And that's where the gold is. Like, that's what I've done since February. And that's what, as I listen to some of the manifestation teachers that I listen to and stuff like they, they always say it's an inside job and you will not necessarily get the evidence out there um, until you notice that it's already inside you. Like the evidence is already there inside you. And then things start to show up more on the outside. Manifesting is literally the process of perceiving something into being that you know is already there. And the hardest part of that is getting over like ourselves, right? So yeah, you know, my intuition, for example, in February, like basically decided you're not getting anything else because you're not taking care of your health. Like you're not walking your talk. You don't have capacity in your body to do anything else. Therefore, how can we possibly give you anything? Um, but as I've been, as I have my, had my own come to Jesus moment moments, and I've been really taking care of myself, right? Because if I'm not making any money, like, okay, that is true. But if I were making the money that I want, what would I be doing with my free time or with the, the time that I have? Well, I'd be paddle boarding, I'd be gardening, I'd be with my kids, I'd be with my dog, I'd be doing all these things, right? So when I allow myself to do those things, am I fully embodied in them? Or am I like thinking, well, you know, like, fuck, I'm not making any money, I might as well do this other thing, right? Like, it's, it's that subtle, that stops the manifestation from materializing from coming in, because we're like, we're thinking that the life we want to live in the in the sort of regular day-to-day stuff isn't good enough because we're not getting the other thing but if, as soon as we decide we're going to um act as if and i don't mean fake it till you make it like that is i hate that term this isn't like pretend you're not pretending okay um both but both things can be true yes your regular paychecks haven't materialized yet however if they did materialize the free time that you would have, 
you would be absolutely embodied in the joy of knowing, of course I can spend this time with my children because I'm taken care of everywhere else, right? So it's almost like you you act as if the other thing is already true by being super embodied in the things that you can be embodied in because they actually are true. So again, you don't have to like listen to me at all. Um, But I just wanted to share this because this is a process that I've been trying to clarify. Um, And I'm probably actually going to listen to my own message again and just pull out some of the things I said because this is the exact thing I've gone through this year. And this is what has helped me increase my own trust in the fact that I can manifest and that it is working and it's an inside job first and how we perpetuate and how we like continue that process working is by being embodied in what we know is absolutely true, trusting that by doing that, the other things will also be true. Um, yeah, I hope all of that makes sense, but I love this conversation. Like I said, raw, unfiltered, unedited. However, I do believe that there's a lot of wisdom in there around the manifestation process and really knowing the difference between going through the motions and mechanically doing what you think you need to do or should be doing versus fully at a frequency level, using your body, your mind, and your emotions to create what it is that you want to create in your life. So let me know what you think, how did this impact you, and what you learned, and I look forward to seeing you next time.